know, you really, um, you know, when you start off like that and you're able to, Fred's kind of finding you on a roll a little bit like that, you get a couple of dunks early. How much does that help in, in just kind of setting up your whole night? Uh, I think it just sets up our whole offense, to be honest. Uh, trying to play with pace, keep getting it to both sides, trying to set good screens and being able to roll. I feel like uh, they were stepping up on the ball screens a lot today, so it hit me on the rolls. And it was just setting up great offense for us tonight. Nick was talking about the roll action being a key to what you guys did tonight because you got a couple of buckets, but you also found shooters in the quarter. Are you doing that more often now as a team looking for that role guy right off the bat? Uh, I think it depends on the game. Uh, sometimes teams play in a deep drop coverage. Uh, so when they step up today, it was just open on the rolls to be able to get the rolls. If I saw an open basket, it was going to the basket. But if I saw help, it was just kicking out. Uh, so it was all a part of, a part of the offense, uh, just moving the ball, trying to get things start early in a good rhythm and a good groove for our it sets up uh, to a good game for us. How big has the bench been for you guys over these last three games? Uh, the bench been good. Um, people coming off the bench, being able to produce, uh, playing defense. Uh, I feel like that, that's amazing for us. We're going to need them uh, throughout the season. Uh, it's, they're going to be a huge key part for us. And related to that, with the strong bench play over these last three, none of the starters have played 40 minutes or more in the last three. Can you feel the difference late in the game? Like, does it feel like you guys kind of have fresher legs? Oh, I don't know how they feel. Uh, I feel my legs feel good. Um, I don't know how they feel, but I, I feel good. This is your first three-game win streak of the season. What's that say about the direction this team's headed? We just got to keep going. Don't settle for less. Take it one game at a time right now. Um, stay hungry. That's what the team mindset is right now, stay hungry, I appreciate the wins right now, but just stay hungry for more. I think Fred found you three or four times uh, for buckets. What's it, what's it like when he's playing sort of that more facilitator role with you guys? Um, it just felt like it's part of the offense, really. Uh, we was just moving it, we was all sharing the ball, uh, everybody get touches, and it's if something's open, I feel like he's got to make those right plays. I feel like right now we're just being able to move the ball, get it side to side, uh, trying to find those easy points. Uh, so when I'm setting those screens, clearing them off, and they're stepping up, uh, he was finding me on the rows uh, or the late lobs. Scotty, you haven't been shooting the three very much recently. Is that because there's a bit of an issue with the rhythm with the three ball, or is it this new role that you're in? You just find it kind of there's better shots. Yeah, I'm just really trying to find the best shots. Uh, not, I could take those shots anytime I want, but it's just trying to find a good rhythm to the offense. Uh, trying to, like I said, just trying to get it side to side. Uh, I felt like our ball movement wasn't really there, but when I'm playing this role, I, I'm, that's what I'm mostly, try, primarily trying to focus on, just trying to get the ball side to side, trying to set great screens because we got a lot of great scores and great shooters on this team. So when I set those ball screens and free them up, if they're in a drop or if they're not stepping up, uh, at least uh, open shots for other people, or when they're stepping up, at least the rolls, or when, whenever I want to, I can be able to pop, shoot it, or just catch and shoot it whenever I want. But it's all about the ball movement for me, uh, just trying to get side to side. It looks way better uh, if you watch the games. I feel like we got more, we've been having more assists as well. Uh, so when we get the ball moving, ball popping, it's hard to guard. Uh, getting it three sides and then it's hard for people to just keep up with that. What's it, what's it goes into the decision whether to pop or roll when you're in the game? Um, I would say it depends on how early it is in, in the shot possession. Uh, the roll is going to be there later uh, in the possession. Uh, and it's still going to free up the guards no matter what. But early in the possessions, I just, it depends on what's open, how I feel. Uh, if I feel like it's early in the possession, 18 on the clock, I just want to get it to the other side, keep saying good screens, keep trying to get that ball movement going. Scotty, uh, Precious is kind of working his way back into the rotation. Uh, what did you notice about him, you know, uh, kind of working on his game while he was out, and what have you noticed about him so far just in his first couple of games back? Uh, still looking good. Uh, still getting back to trying to get his step back, but he's been looking good, running transition, playing defense, rebounding, running. Uh, I feel like it's just going to keep coming. Um, 
as the season goes on. Uh, he made a three. Uh, he's going he's gonna to find his stuff, but he's been playing really well. Keep on being matched up. Yeah, five that's steals. That's, 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 that's precious right there. Five steals. Five steals. Playing defense. That's good for us. The defensive end, you keep on being matched up with the opposing team's big. How do you feel like you've been progressing in that role and responsibilities that come with that? I feel like I've been getting better at it every single – every time I step on the floor. Uh, I feel like I'm a big guy as well. You know, I got some muscle on me. Uh, so just about playing with some heart, some physicality, uh, just trying to box my every single time, uh, run them on the other end. Um, those are big guys. They don't really like running down in transition, moving their feet like that. So just trying to push the pace. Um, but yeah, uh, that's, that's what I got for him. Let's go. Uh Last two games, you guys have counted, I think, 32 and 30 assists, like you know, well above the season average. What's it like playing out there when the ball's really flying like that? Uh, I think it's good. I think we're just we're playing with more pace, um, just um, playing together, um, just trusting the next pass, and, and, and just, um, I think, obviously helps, you know, when you make a couple of shots. So, um, or because I think, uh, you know, we, we always, you know, we always play, play well off of each other, but sometimes, you know, it doesn't, doesn't um, result into like scoring, I'll push, like, you know. So, um, but yeah, I think just continue to play off of each other and and, and playing with with a better pace. I'll say. Do you feel like it takes some pressure off of you and the starters when the bench is playing the way that they played over these last three games? Oh uh, no, I think it's good. It's good. I think we, we like I, I keep saying we've been on them a lot. So I think they they they're taking the responsibility and um, they're playing well. Um, Starting to find a little rhythm, and and I think guys just um, kind of knowing what to expect, and 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 coming in, you know, knowing that okay, we we get into the game, you're gonna play, and and, and everyone just um, being together, they 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 talk out there, um, and they're getting a lot of practice together. So I think I think it helps also. I wanted to ask you about your free throws, 12 attempts tonight. One of the reasons why you were able to be so efficient, you're averaging a career high, and like I think like three more free throw attempts per game that you ever averaged before. What is it? Is it is it just a matter of like more experience kind of picking up the tricks of the trade of where you can draw those fouls or, or is there something else that you've seen this No, I think it was a focus for me like coming into the season. Um, that's something that I wanted to, to improve on and get better at. Um, and, and and I just think that also like just being a threat from different levels on the floor helps also. Um, and, and and yeah, like I, I definitely like worked on that and there was a lot of, you know, film watching and, and, and just trying to see how um, I can I can export like like the defense and 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 I think most of the time for me it was just always like I wanted to be quicker and like and like you know just finish it and instead of like sometimes you know just taking what the defense is giving you and and be more calm and and um, off two feet like different things that I, that I think about every time I'm out there and 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 that's I think is helping and hopefully you know it keeps going that way. You've had a lot of development in your career to this point. I'm wondering. How many reps do you think it takes of a certain move, a new combo, before you're ready to bring it out at the NBA level? Uh, I mean, I think a lot of reps. I think um, I don't know the exact number, but um, but I think I think yeah, it takes. I would say. I mean, I know there's there's people out there that's like super talented and and, and maybe they can they can do it you know in a quicker way and and they're just gifted that way. But um, I just feel like you know I have to continue to work. You know, some things comes naturally and and some things you have to work on them and, and you have to have a lot of reps. Um, and and I'm one of those guys that's gonna you know like I'm gonna I'm gonna do a hundred reps or something. You know, like I'm I'm gonna be out there every single day um, and and do it over and over. Is there something you're working on now that you expect to be able to bring out? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Who's we'll see? Like, I think, I think, I, for me, like, I, I, the most important thing for me is just continue to develop, continue to evolve as a player. Um, I never want to be satisfied. I never want to feel like I have nothing to work on. Like, I, I feel like there's always something to work on. There's always something to get better at. And I think it depends of like different games, different opponents. Like, it could be anything. And um, I just don't want to be content with being okay. Like, I wanna, I wanna see how far I can reach. I wanna see. Um, the levels that I can get to, and, and it's like, why not? Pascal Scotty is looking more and more comfortable. For you guys around him, how comfortable?
tour are you guys getting with the reads that he's making and kind of how he wants to? Yeah, no, nah, he's, he's been playing well. I think that, again, like, just just settling in, man. Like, just, just playing basketball. Um, with his, he's so gifted and just, just instantly, just, just play off instincts and, and sometimes, you know, wanting to think about the game too much like you, you know we, we tend to like complicate it you know just just playing like basketball and what God already gave you like you're already like gifted and it's like at the end of the day like just going out there and doing that every single night is always going to be good for us and it's going to be good for him and, and I think now he's just he just I see him I see the confidence um, and he's just not forcing anything he's just playing basketball the way that he, he knows how to and, and it's, 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 it's showing um, and, and I think that sometimes it's like we, we get so caught up into like the numbers and like oh people are expecting this from him or not but like you just gotta go out there and play, and I think he's starting to understand that. Like, just, just hoop. Like, at the end of the day, this is basketball, and and your natural talent is just gonna come out. Pascal, the, the Eastern Conference right now, in terms of the standing, it's pretty bunched up. You know, there's obviously a pretty high level of talent in the Eastern Conference. I guess looking up at the standings, uh, what's it like knowing that it's such a tightly bunched uh, standings? And you know, how do you feel about your chances to kind of move up? Uh, I think, I think. Um, yeah, like I'm, I, I, for me personally, I, I'm not, I don't get ahead of myself. I think um, as a team, like we got to continue to get better and take this one game at a time, um, and and just focus on that. Like we have to get better as a team, and and I think that we train it up, and I hope I hope that we continue to do so. Um, but um, I'm definitely not looking at anything but us. Like we got, we got to get better. We got to get to the level that we know we can get to, and and we're gonna worry about the rest. Like when when it comes to that. You guys have seen an uptick in three-point percentage over the past few games, at least. Do you think it has to do at all with what you're kind of saying, with the pace picking up a little bit, and Scotty in this new kind of facilitated role? Like, do you think you guys are getting better shots, or is that just? Kind of uh, no, I mean, again, we can we can look at the Milwaukee game. I mean, we had like wide open like, after wide open shots. Like, I don't think it really like I don't know how to explain that. Um, uh, but I'm happy we're making shots. Hopefully, we keep it going. You mentioned earlier in the season quite a few times about finding joy, playing with joy, and trying to keep that morale up. Do you feel that it's in a better place now than it has been? Or like I said, winning is the, like winning solves everything, man. Like I, I, I and. And for me, like even even in the past, when like the things that I've gone through as a player, and like you know all the struggles and all these things, like once you win, like all these things go like it, it gets to the back burner, you know. And I think that I try to stay positive every single day, and that's just me in my in general in my life, you know. But at the same time, like winning, like makes you happy. It makes the team happy. It makes people smile, and and and. And that's just what it is. Like we have to win, and 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 I think that's going to solve a lot of our problems. In terms of uh, Precious, obviously he's out for an extended stretch of time. Now he's kind of working his way back into the rotation. Uh, what kind of elements do you think that he, you know, has brought to the team so far, and you know, what kind of uh, stuff does he still have to bring? No, I think I think Precious, you know, he's doing well coming back from injury, and I think that um, that's the tricky part about injuries. You know, you want to come out and like. You know, you think you're just gonna get back all at once. You know, like you can't get it back all at once. You know, it's gonna take time. It's gonna be gradual, and and I think he's understanding that he's playing. You know, um, that second unit, I like the energy playing together, um, and and him, he just gotta continue to you know use his athleticism, like and and just just be be a beast out there. And and I think that again, he's he's showing a glimpse of it, and I also know that he's like getting back to, you know, his conditioning or like his speed and, and all those stuff uh, coming from that injury. And I know that, you know, he's he's, he's willing to, to, to kind of work and, and get to that level. Has anyone challenged you in uh, FIFA after Christian? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I don't know who else played. Gary said he plays FIFA, so we'll see. We'll see. Like, we have to play still. We haven't. Um, but, but yeah, I think nobody really. Another solid performance from you, Precious. Um, how is it feeling out there rhythm-wise? Um, you know, just finding my rhythm um, feels good. Um, it's been a really, really long process, but you know, just finding my rhythm every day is just is amazing. And um, so, yeah, I just got to keep going, and eventually, you know, I'm gonna be where I'm, where I need to be. You had that extended stretch in the second quarter where you got, I believe it was like eight, nine minutes in a row. Yeah. Uh, were you able to drink water after? How tired were you? I mean, I mean. I was tired, but like I said, you know, just the more I play, the more my lungs open up, and you know, my um, conditioning is getting better, my stamina. So, um, yeah, you know, I came out, I got my second win, I was good to go. And 
offensively, I know we had talked earlier before about how like defense comes more naturally to you, but are you finding like the offense that rhythm yeah, yeah, coming to you? Offensive rhythm is coming as well, you know, playing within the flow of the game, um, making the right plays and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm not too worried about that. You know, everything is going to come um, together eventually. What's been translating as a team, maybe in practices, shoot arounds, off the court? You know, I, mean, I know you guys went to the hospital recently, but what's been translating to on the court now? We're just tired of losing. You know, like I'm tired. I'm sure everybody is. Uh, we know what we're capable of doing. Um, we've done it before. We showed it. So just kind of like we're on the selling ourselves. So everybody's just tired, you know. And I think that's that's just that desire to you know win. And we know we're capable of winning. You know, whatever game we go out there and play. So we're taking advantage of that. With the three-point shooting for yourself, you've been shooting it better over the past few games. Is that some of it just like getting a lot of reps while you were injured, or is it more like watching film when you were injured and seeing some spots where you can take threes? Or I mean, what? it's just reps, you know. You can't really, um, you can't really, like train game like you could put up reps. Then those game in-game situations, you only could find those in the game. You know, it's just all part of rhythm as well. You know, the more you play, the more you start feeling your legs under you and all that kind of stuff. You know, I'm starting to feel my legs under me. I'm, and those are shots that I know I'm, I could make. Everybody knows I could make them. So I'm very comfortable taking those shots. As a team, you guys didn't shoot the three ball well for the first half of the season. And it's coming a bit along a bit. Do you think that, I mean, what kind of gives you confidence that as a team you're going to shoot better in the second half? Is it just that, like you said, you see everyone putting the reps in and practice yeah, and all that stuff? guys are working stuff? every day. You know, guys are working every day. Um, we just got to keep doing what we're doing right now. We've shown that we could, you know, play the game at a really, really high level. Um, I think we just got to go out there and continue playing the game at a really high level. Did you know all five steals is your career high? Um, no, I didn't. Um, I kind of had a feeling I had a lot of them. Um, but I didn't know what number it was, but, hey, I take it. <laughs> I think two was before this. Two? Yeah, no I chance. Like, I swear. That I'm a hell of a defender. No chance. I two. agree. That's what Raptors PR tweeted. So you got to blame them. Not yeah, me. I got to go check some. Got to give OG some competition over here, eh? I, I mean, no, I cannot compete with him. <laughs> <laughs> that dude, he got sticky fingers. I'm talking about watch your pockets around him. <laughs> Wancho, um, what's it like being out there right now? You guys are on a three game win streak. The team looks good right now. I mean, he's good. But. We want more. I mean, we know when we're struggling, what we need to, to change. Uh, I feel like we're playing for each other more now. Uh, uh, we got long rotations. Everybody feel like like part of it. So that's big time. And one game at a time. Let's go on the next one. You've been described many times as like a cover. Okay. Say again? You've been described as a player that's kind of like the glue on this team, where like you can facilitate, you can play defense when needed in pockets and stuff like that. Um, how do you support your teammates and get them going like, on and off the court? I mean, they, we got great basketball players. I mean, they just got to figure it out and play together, and, and this team is really good. So I'm trying to, uh, I don't know, trying to do my best, try to work out, uh, try to talk with everybody. And, you know, when I'm up there, just uh, give my best, give my, my energy, and, and just try to do who I am. Now, the last time you played the Hawks was in Atlanta. It was that game winner in overtime. Yeah, um, AJ been, some. What's been the biggest difference between the team back then that you guys were and the team now? You guys play Atlanta next. I mean, at that time, we got a lot of injuries. Uh, we just we just figuring it out how it's going to be everything. And now we are, I think we are a full team. Um, and we want more. So I feel like we're going to go there. Um, and be ready for, for a, a war. You had 30 more assists tonight. Is that the kind of ball movement and player movement that you were from Asian at the start of the year? It's a little light tonight, wasn't it, Doug? 30? Yeah, 32 the other night, 30 tonight. Yeah, should, probably should have been 40. Opportunities on on good plays that we that we didn't convert. But yeah, it was good. Obviously, we had a lot in the first half. Um, but. Yeah, they're they're getting off it really good right now and and um, creating some opportunities to draw off at defenders and and pass the ball. So much better. It's like you're running, you seem to run a lot of pick and roll tonight, maybe more than the other night. Was that a way to attack them and get that second pass in the quarter or whatever you need? Yeah, it was. Um, 
we we did try to get a lot of pick and rolls in the middle of the floor uh, tonight. Um, what's what's also helped is that we've made a much more of a conscious effort to roll and hit the roller or put a little bit more pressure on the paint with that threat. And that has, um, again, I think given us a chance to get it in there and get it get it out of there or get a couple roll baskets here and there as well. When it comes to well, over the past few days, you've been talking a little bit about how the transition defense and how often you guys played it really affected your ability to evaluate what was happening on that end. You guys have scored a lot of baskets over the past two games. How have you felt about your half-court defense now that you got to see a little bit more of that? Uh, I felt better about it tonight. I didn't think our half-court defense was that, that good the other night, um, but it was better tonight. We, we did a couple, made a couple adjustments to some things, um, and some guys really did a good job with those adjustments. Um, you know, I thought, I thought uh, we, they made a lot of buckets that were, you know, deep or fairly tough. Even some of the drives they made were. I was fairly happy with where they were shooting some of those drives from, and who was contesting. You know, they were they were they were contested pretty good, as well. Um, so much it was much better tonight than it was the other night. Yeah. Scotty started off really aggressive, getting to the rim, either for points or for assists. What does it do for your offense when he starts off like that? Yeah, so it does a lot, especially just the way he he did it with such pace. You know, he did it did it early in the offense and was into the paint and was firing, you know, a lot of a lot of passes out to those guys for for catch and shoot threes. And I think that it really just ignited our pace in general. We had some really, even in the half court, we had some really I would call them pacey type baskets where we were off it to somebody else. The next action happened quickly and with speed and the roll happened quickly and we were off it again. And that's, you know, that's hard to guard when you're when you're playing with that kind of pace. And I think he set the tone for that. Fred was playmaking a ton tonight, but only two three-pointer attempts. Is that just a different role for him? Or I don't. I just think that was the game tonight for him. There was there was uh, some space for him to cross screen and get into the paint, um, and they were, you know, they were closing down the paint pretty pretty hard. So he, had, you know, the, the the best play was was out, and I don't think they were leaving him much on the perimeter. I don't, I don't, didn't see that many opportunities for him from three tonight that, that normally, but that's okay. I think he, he played it well and there was lots of them for other guys. Um, I, I like the way he played tonight a lot, yeah. Coach, this is your first uh, three game win streak of the season. What's that say about the direction your team's headed in? Well, Listen, we're trying to make some progress here. I, th I think we are. I think I think that um, you know there's there's a good sign with some shots going in. There's some good sign with a high number of assists. Um, there's some there's some l little bit more life off the bench. You know, there's some good signs there for sure. Precious uh, was able to pick up five steals tonight. Um, you know, what do you think? Uh, you know, what one was the key to that, and two, uh, you know, how do you feel like he was able to you know stay involved in the team's schemes and learning everything while he was out for such an extended period of time? Uh, he's done pretty good. I think he's you know he's getting closer just to back to getting some kind of rhythm. Um, I think that group was long and active, and, and they got their hands on a lot of them. It was another one of those games where we must have tipped eight other balls that were floating around that we didn't recover, right? And it always bums me out, like when, we, like when we're really playing good defense and we tip it three times and they still end up with it somehow. Um, but that just shows, you know, they were getting their hands. I think there was a stretch for that group. I think they turned them over five straight times to start the second, right? So that's, that's awesome. Uh, I really liked um, the way Precious took the ball to the basket. He didn't get a ton out of it, but that will come. I mean, you know, he, he got one maybe – Dunk, he got one where he got clobbered. He got another one where he got clobbered. Um, but I like it. If he keeps going in there, he's going to get rewarded and get a dunk or get to the free throw line a little bit, I think. But I like the aggressiveness. All right. That's right. talking about getting him those extended stretches. Mm -hmm. I think it was eight and nine minutes yep. or something like that tonight. It's, yep. I, mean, I know you'd like to get the number up a bit higher eventually. But we're getting there. Good. Yeah, we're getting there. I mean, we, we let him run, uh, Pat, you know, kind of – with the starters, I think two different stretches in both the second and the fourth, and that's that's where we're heading with that. So it was good to inch forward 
a little bit there. Does this team feel more reliant on three-point shooting than maybe previous iterations of Raptors have, or do you just think that's kind of where the league's going, that you have to knock in a certain amount of threes each night to win for the well, most part? Well, I think that you got to be in the game, you know, on the three-point numbers, right? You can't have 18 to 5. You can't have 16 to 6. You know, like, like what is it tonight? 13 to 10 is in the game. Right, you know, I think teams, a lot of teams, are going to make double digits every night, and we got to be around there somewhere. I mean, we should have made another eight tonight, probably, right? Because they were as open as they can be with our good, with some of our really good guys taking them. So, but again, create the right shots and and uh, get a win. Not worried about it. Keep creating the right right shots and save them for when we really need them.